Oh, welcome to make a good Mega Man level. 24 hour. Oh, I am French because. Yeah, hi. Uh, I was just over on Oozworm's stream like a minute ago. Uh, he's still going for a tiny bit longer. Uh, basically, he is doing uh, GeoGuessr. So uh, the entire GeoGuessr, it was just really funny because uh, he kept ending up in France. So hi, welcome to France. That's where uh, Make a Good Mega Man level 24 hours uh, takes place. Or 24 hour Make a Good Mega Man level. Mega Mammal 24. This is the one with Jack Bauer. How are you doing though, Azure, Rears, Caramac, Golden, Orion, Life Forcer, Mike the Magician, Hamdo, Broly, Spin Attacks, what's up? You go, girl. I hope these levels don't last 24 hours each. This is like an hour long, this game. There is no way it's gonna take the full stream. A gamer of my caliber taking that long? Bro. Probably gonna happen. Yeah, uh, we destroyed going through Toe Jam and Earl. Like, holy shit, that was first try. It's not every day we get to we get to say first try on this channel. We have an emote for it and everything. Uh, first off, huge shout outs to everyone. If I was in uh, your Twitch things, uh, thank you. Means a lot to me. What means even more to me is that I destroyed your top game because uh, the category on Twitch, you probably, if you watch me enough, uh, had retro as your number one category because of reasons. Whoops. I totally ruined those numbers for you. So yeah, there's absolutely zero, haha, way we're, we're uh, not finishing this today and jumping into another game. You haven't played this one yet? Oh, okay, spin a tank. So that's the plan, we're gonna go through this, we're gonna breeze through it, it's like 9 or 10 levels. The only one you weren't involved in. It seems like this one was really short to begin with, not because 24 hours, but like genuinely... Um, fucking this asshole shows up again. Mooch, I haven't even started the game, and I feel like I'm already dead. Every time, good to see you man. Drag, what's up? I'm glad you guys are loving the Mag Mammal, I'm loving it. Uh, the plan is, by the way, uh, we're... I think I'm gonna maybe save 48 hour for next year. Did you drop a screw on the floor? What happened? I think I see it. What? <laughs> what the fuck? An ooze raid! You just got friends. Like and share to totally friends. Your friends. Ho <laughs> ho. Welcome to the French stream where we play the Mega Man. <laughs> it was I don't know why you raided. This is this is a Mega Man stream. Hi. Uh, we do a lot of retro variety around here. If you watch me long enough, I will ruin your Twitch recap with uh, the retro category. Sorry, not sorry. Kafka, thank you for the sub. Uh, welcome, Ooze. We got Ooze. Uh, with that said, however, go get him, Nailers. Rears. Karamek. Dark Gob. Dementian. Dingus. Joey. Flare Sword. Avi, Serafi, into this Mega Man today we will be playing the Mega Man level. Uh, we have 24 hours to play the level or um, Pigsaw will show up and kill me, and I can't allow that. So uh, sorry Ooze, you raided Mega Man, you knew what you were doing. Yeah, we do a lot of retro variety runs here, uh, Tuesdays and Fridays are dedicated to beating stuff, so we're working through this and then working through uh, Make a Good Mega Man level episode 0. You already ruined mine, I'm 1% of your chatter, and Retro is my top category. <laughs> Mega Man is the France of game series. You take it back. In France, this was known as Doki Doki Bomber. Shut the fuck up. Did you see the new Battle Network Collection trailer? I saw that it was posted, I did not look at it. But uh, let's go play some Mega Man. So if you don't know what this is, this is Make a Good Mega Man level. You have 24 hours to make a good Mega Man level. It's a contest. Uh, this one was really short, so we're gonna get through it really fast. Hi, Polk. Uh, thank you for not killing me yesterday when we were playing Dead by Daylight. Very, very kind of you. I had to, uh... Fair warning. I, ha I had to with this one... Uh, oh, it's the Stardew Wizard! What the fuck is the Stardew Wizard doing here? 
That one ender. Wine City's here. Ace. Ace is here twice. It's Metis. Now. Hey, Polk, if I'm done streaming and you're for some reason awake, we could do more. Uh, so this Magma Mammal doesn't really have a place order. Um, Spin Attacks, you might know. Yeah, that's a Pokemon on the right. Um, so I guess these are the user icons. That makes the most sense. Uh, if anyone knows the order of the, like, from worst to best, we'll, we'll do that. Fighting Global gets 24 hours to make a good level of DS. That's true, Pyronic. Thanks for the sub. Uh, if not, I guess I could just pull the chat. We don't need to make a proper pull. We can only do five choices anyway, but... Air Trick, Breaking Grounds, Nauseous Greenhouse, Flooded Temple, Pollution Park, X-Factory. Yeah, polls are only 1 to 5 on Twitch, but there are 6 levels. Unpolished version of Tuesday. Yeah, uh, Spin Attacks, I gotta be real with you. Setting this up during Oozworm's stream fucking sucked because, uh... Oh my god, I had to set up Joy to Key. It was that rough. Oof. It would not read my controller. This is a, this is a like, Xbox controller. It turns out D-pad doesn't work, some of the buttons work, so I was like, joy to key it is! Um, you guys want to do air trick? We'll just go around then. You were too busy checking cathedrals, it's true. Or, ooh, ooh do you want to pick the first level? Which one looks like the best level? Pick the wizard. Alright. Nauseous Greenhouse, that's what I call Oozworm streams. So yeah, these levels were all made in 24 hours, so uh, most of them will probably be rough. Oh, that was weird. What the fuck is this scrolling? What What is this? This is not a Mega Man level. The rankings aren't all that important, but this is last place. Okay. I'm not gonna care about the, oop, the ratings then. Yeah, Mag Mammal Guesser. Turns out Ooze knows everything about Mag Mammal. Ooze, I hate Mega Worm. I can't even be harsh on these levels if they're made in 24 hours. I think that's fair. Yeah, fuck Mega Worm. What are even the weapons? Wave, it's too slow, super arm, and it's spike? Oh, chill spike, yeah. Uh, you know what? This is 24 hours. You're, you're all gonna laugh. I'm actually gonna use weapons. I know, I know, I know. He never uses the weapons. He's using the weapons. It's a miracle. There we go. Hi, Gab. All right, Ooze. Uh, you you know the worst level. Now pick the next worst level. Uh, do I even want to read the judge comments? I feel like it doesn't matter. This level has serious issues. The fact that I can't tell what your box items are means that there wasn't cohesion to the gimmicks. I feel like this stage just flat wasn't finished on the positive side. I like the feel when you first start the level. The music is fast. A lot is going on. That general hectic vibe I can get behind. Then you get to the first screen transition. The camera breaks. Then the level suddenly ends. However, the level does have one saving grace. I like the multiple pass I gave the level purpose to me. My issue with it is that there's no real reward for one path. Yeah. I didn't even know there were alternate paths. Getting to the right path is a bit confusing. The first time I got to it by rush jetting from where the shishi is and hopping over the wall. The upper shishi area is really confusing with missing object solids. So no checkpoint. Okay, um... This level left me with several questions and answers. Why are the acid drops used like three times? They don't do anything except waste space. 
Why is the camera so messed up? Did you forget to place the screen transition somewhere? The only thing I think was used consistently were the hopping enemies and the Shadow Man platforms, and even then, they weren't T used in good or challenging ways. Top platform challenge really isn't a challenge at all. You could just ride the platform up. You don't need to use the ladder for any reason. Also, what's the point of the secret teleporter? It's not hard to get to and only gives you a Yashishi you probably won't need. All in all, this level has a lot of one-time use gimmicks. Okay. I don't believe there were super arm blocks. The level wasn't long enough to really tell, but I couldn't find any, so for shame. They had to use a unique set of assets. Interesting. Level left me confused. Why is it so short? Well, I thought it was because it was 24 hours. Why is the entire level on one screen? Why does the checkpoint activate on a different screen? Why are there tiles of that collision? Why does Top Man have no weakness? I mean, he did. These are questions for Greek philosophers or something because I clearly couldn't answer them. The one with the little green dude from Pokemon, Air Trick. What? <laughs> the fuck off, Ooze. How the fuck do you know, Ooze? It is not clear where you need to go in this. Oh no, it's just bird hell. Get these fucking birds away from me. Dead. Not dead. So big right now after the geography lesson. Apparently! Can you give me the winning lotto numbers, Ooze? I do like the gimmick, though, with the, um... Being in the, the blue. Yeah, winning lotto numbers on a highway in Romania, I'm afraid. Damn, you got me there. I, I really can't wait to see if, if you ever end up making a uh, TikTok after the dumb uh, France stream that, we, that you did. Just francing people. Be your new gimmick. Wait, where, where the fuck do I go? Why, why are these the longest disappearing blocks in existence? Oh, it's this fucker. Okay, I guess that wasn't clear, but I, I mean, I, I'm okay with it. Using Toad Man uh, is never interesting. I think the one thing that would make Toad Man interesting is not a flat room joke is too easy. It's been done. Alright. Up front, I'm gonna apologize that creation code stuff would have been fine, but the rules were kind of vague. Also, not gonna hound you about the length of the stage. Time constraints are a thing, man. Boxy got lined up perfectly and felt like everything belonged together. Full stage felt really natural to play through and flowed really well. The main issue is there doesn't feel like there's any real threat. It's most certainly possible to die. However, other than the last room with the clouds, I didn't die, and on my second or third run, I nearly hit the stage. Or, no hit the stage. The level was kind of strange, it was a solid level, but at the same time, it was designed really strangely at the beginning. There's a boss door that doesn't do anything. Yeah, no, I noticed that. Several times throughout the level, it's not clear where you're supposed to go. At times, it was hard to tell the platforms and the background apart. And the blue used for the wind segments. It, it was very generic, but like, I, it's hard to rate something that's 24 hours. Like, I get it, you didn't have time. 
was I searing against the rather dark level. Sometimes the lyrics probably felt a bit too much. What was up with that one room with the Yoku blocks at the bottom? I honestly felt confused about that and I was unsure if it was a glitch of some sort or not. Also, I couldn't tell if Toad Man was the end boss, but why wouldn't he be? There's no signal that he was. Now I'm going to elaborate on what I mean by generic win segments. I rate this a France out of 50. Oh, they didn't seem to be put to good use. They were just used for the average go faster room and didn't seem to try to do anything different. I got to the room with three cloud platforms and a ladder. I expected it to be windy like the rest of the parts of the level that have wind that would have made that room actually fit into the difficulty curve. The tile set and music were nice, but generally didn't see the level or set the level apart from a lot of other wind levels I've seen overall, though. It is a solid level. It's a very French level. So, ooze, I, I asked earlier, but like, what is your favorite Gaga song? Is it I Don't Wanna Be French? I don't wanna be French. Don't want your bad romance. No super arm blocks for shame. First thing that strikes me as odd about the stage is that the custom spawners are unlimited. Song about the existence of France. Yeah. I don't wanna be France. This is cause for a few problems cause for a few problems in considering that the one weapon that would help clear away large groups of enemies is completely unusable. The only problem is the spawner room with the invisible enemy spawners and the disappearing blocks that take a fair bit too long. However, the rest of your gimmicks and elements went to went in pretty well. Pippis? Like like uh Peepus Blue from uh, that one uh Spamton thing. Knight, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Cloud Platform is made for interesting challenges. There was a fair bit to like here in pretty much every room that didn't have not Telly. Peepus. Yeah, have, you, have you guys seen the, the Peepus, Peepus Blue? Uh, I guess we'll just do this one because Ooze is just going to keep guessing. He's going to guess this one. I know he would. Why the fuck do I keep dying at the start? Epis and Butthead. Or Butthead, yeah. Music's really good here. You're willing me to explode. You've been franced. I was AFK and couldn't find a good time, but I just scrolled and found the raid message. Thank you. Gracias para los raid message. Isn't that what the kids say? Beta Mega Man level 2 engine J. Apparently. Why did you instantly die? I don't know what happened in the other level. So this is 24 hours. Uh, it's really short, Zoc. Like, so short that uh, it's gonna be over in less than 24 hours. Why do you go so fast? This is already the third level of six. And I think there's a short Wily Castle. I had to get Joy to Key set up for this. It was it was rough. If you don't finish it in 24 hours, you lose your house. Like I kind of need that. I stream from here. Yeah, the song is really good. Like I, I I've heard this. It's on the Genesis, right? Uh, that, that is that is the meme. Ah, oh, he's in those motherfuckers. What the f what the fuck is this? I like this. A scrolling auto like it's it's an auto scroller but done smart. Mega Man's not supposed to do auto scrolling like this, but it works. Hypothetical Oil Man DOS theme. Okay. That was not clear uh, th that we had to go that way, but okay. It's a final fight elevator. I think this might be the best stage uh, so far. I don't really have a lot to say about these stages, unfortunately. Oh, that's, that's clever. I like that. Look at that shot. Perfect shot.
Guess what the winner is? This one? Or it's either this or Ace Spark. Why do these why do these hit so hard? Oh god, the gray ones stopped moving too. Oh hey, some tiles didn't load in last time. You could pick up the chill man block? Yeah, I never would have thought to do that. Thank you. I guess that makes sense. The chill block wasn't in any other game. This kind of worked out in my favor. Uh, that is not a platform. Okay, that is misleading. Ooh, that is fucking weird. Super Arm really doesn't get much use. You could have said whenever and I would have agreed with you, still. Why would you say this is the dumbest gimmick? I For a 24 hour game, I mean, this works. It works. That's that, like, yeah, honestly, I like it. Ah, oh, fuck. I've never been hit through one of those doors. That's pretty funny. What? Oh, no. Uh-oh. You might have made single-handedly the worst quick man fight ever. Oh, my God. This quick man fight. It's how all Mega Man games look to me. How could you do this to me, Ooze? Fuck it. We, I, I ain't fucking having any of that. <laughs> Entity. Uh, well, what we gotta do? We gotta do breaking ground. 85. I love this level. First of all, this might be my favorite use of the chill man blocks I've seen. Especially paired with that sniper Joe. That was great. I also loved how there were some enemies that, with some slightly different behavior, were introduced and kept to be consistent throughout the whole level. I feel like every challenge had an intended solution that felt really nice to pull off. Although, if you don't get it exactly right, it was kind of punishing. It's a lot uglier than how time slow looks. I'm fine with it. It's, it's Game Maker. I appreciate using Quick Man and trying to make it a more interesting, fun fight. It just turned out to be too hard. Still can't beat him, Buster only, and needed to use special weapons to beat him. Also, you can clip into the ceiling during the Quick Man fight somehow. Not exactly sure how that happened. Oh well. This level started out really good. All the introductions were solid, and the ice blocks and gabioles were used very well. However, after the first elevator room, the level started falling apart, in my opinion. A winning game with some few screens of strategic jumping involved. The second elevator segment was good with strategic jumping, then after the few screens of more gabials and one-ons, the boss corridor became, uh, and this is my biggest problem with this level. Don't put enemies in the boss corridor, especially ones like the space met spawner in the floor that are tricky and annoying. Especially not when the level is ended by a quick man fight on ice. This boss fight was a bit irritating to fight because there's no solid ground to aim at quick man. The vertical scrolling Caused Quickman to despawn at 1.2. Overall, I think this level starts out very strong and ends not so strongly. The graphics and music were good, though. There is actually a floor. That's cool. You get my applause for making use of the super arm blocks. Really appreciate the use of the different weapons in this level. In particular, the level really felt like it was built around the super arm. Time slow weapons, which really made it a joy to play through. Spawners on the space mats were a little fast for what they should be. Yo, Snorunt, what's up? No super arm blocks? 
We're already halfway done. That's how fast it is. We're gonna breeze through this in no time. They're a little fast for what they should be, considering how fast the space smiths are, making it easy to get swarmed. However, these mechanics are used in an interesting way in the elevator screen, which makes a nice and memorable challenge with the Wanyans. Tiles are nice looking, but there are a couple parts of the stage where they can be a bit confusing. Hiding the Wanyans on the first elevator and looking like solid tiles at the end of both elevators when they are not. I feel like these screens could have been more enclosed instead, which would make telling where to exit easy. Not a fan of the boss fight at all? Absolutely garbage. I've, I've learned anything from Mega Man 2, it's that Quick Man doesn't work with erratic terrain. Yes, that is what I've said for years, is that fight doesn't work because of the floor. And you do the rematch, it's way easier. Especially here, where he quickly buries the player. No way I would have beaten this without using his weakness to cheese. Mm, I do love cheese. Hope you're doing well though. Uh, I guess we'll jump into Entities level. Pollution Park. This is where Ooze hangs out. Uh, hey, good news! Error in action number one of step event for object object junk block. Error in code at l line 44. My solid equals instance underscore create parentheses xx comma ys comma object solid independent uh, uh, parentheses semicolon at position 32 colon unknown variable excess. Can you ignore it? Okay. Ignore. Uh, no, I cannot. <laughs> it will not let me. Okay, then. Like I said, I'll hire me. I'll, I'll break your games. So, Ooze, uh, as I was saying, this is your level. Ooze uh, lives in Pollution Park. Yeah, I died uh, at the start of levels for some reason, and I assume it's a glitch. Let me actually lower this again. It's very functional. It's okay, you put this together in 24 hours yourself, right? It, it totally gets paid. I'm not really judging too harsh on these levels when it's, you know, made for a 24-hour contest. I gotta, gotta be a little bit lax. I, I do like the idea of the trash. I do love trash. They call me the Danny DeVito of Retro. Interesting use, though, of the junk blocks. I'm, I'm down with this. I like how they're all different levels. It's music, though. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I, I don't know what the music is, but it's, it's good. I really like what they did with the junk blocks. Yes, breaking them in one shot makes so much more sense for a level like this. I don't know if that's for the engine or if that's someone made that for a level like this, but uh, yeah, I like that a lot. By the way, how are you doing, Icy? Hope you're doing well. Seems like you might accidentally be able to soft lock yourself, which could be a problem with this level, but I guess you have rush. Yeah, this is this is a good one. I like this one. Oh wow, I didn't know these were an engine. I never liked those platforms. I kind of always hated them. They're cool, but I, I kind of hate them. And 
that was why I hate them. Not a soft lock if you can still die. I suppose that's true. Is there a secret down there in that pipe? Might have to go by there. That was cool. It wasn't hard, I just... Those platforms are, like, always awkward anytime I have to use them. Oh, it's Metal Man. As I learned last time, you don't want to do the Metal Man fight with Charge. He will, he will shoot out of the way. Well, jump out of the way. But, as always, uh, without the conveyor belt, he kind of is a complete joke, where he's just sort of a joke. Yeah, this, this fight is, I, I found, due to Magmammal, is e easier without charging. Why am I getting destroyed by Metal Man today? What the hell? Also, the uh, conveyor belt flash, I think, is like that uh, normally. But, uh, man, the, the white flash is very seizure and I, I do not like that. Boss arenas are good, and they, like, they don't really do much with them usually in Mega Man. Uh, I liked it, though. Um, oh, it actually tells you what the level order is. This was first place, sixth. So it's after you do them. Sixth, first, fourth, fifth. Um, I thought it was a good level. I liked it, Entity. I don't know if Entity is watching, but uh, I, I know they followed me off stream. The ordering is arbitrary. I thought it was like clockwise, but Ooze wanted me to do uh, this one first. And I, was, I mean, it's the Stardew level. Of course I, we had to do it first. I do enjoy this stage, but it was definitely has some flaws, primarily with the box usage. When you introduce new gimmicks, such as Gremlins, and then the Splash Woman platforms, I felt like you dropped something else instead of synthesizing them together to make a coherent final challenge. I think my favorite part about this level is what they did with the junk. I like that a lot. It was really fun and used the cannons and the junk blocks together pretty well. I guess what I really wanted was for there to be something else with the Splash platforms. Also, I feel like the level never tried to utilize weapons at all. That's okay. I don't either. <clears throat> that's, that's, that's a me thing. That's a me thing. I feel like this review was kind of negative, but honestly, I enjoyed the stage. I just feel like it was so close to being way better than it is. Yeah, it's okay. There's only six levels. Yeah! I think the Mega Man 1 style's stage select works really well for this. This level made great use of the junk blocks. I liked how they were used as both hazards and stepping blocks, and where they were puzzles. Use of the aiming cannons were good too, especially like the rooms with all the, the junk blocks and the reflective blocks. I tell you, those rooms were a stroke of genius They required both agility and thinking to figure out how to go through them. Another thing I liked about this level was the aesthetic Plant Man has a great tile set. And Super Secret Service is always a great music choice. However, I do have some qualms with this level. So what is Super Secret Service? I, I know that's the song, but like, what is that from? I do have some qualms with this level. The airman enemies were basically just fodder. They didn't add anything to the level. They just wasted space. Could have been used in conjunction with those rooms from earlier that I mentioned. It would have been a perfect fit fair. Another problem I have is the splash one platforms. Well, if anyone knows what the music is from, uh, let us know. They felt tacked on and their puzzles felt almost exactly like how they were in Splash Moments stage. They weren't used very well throughout the level, and they felt like just padding out the length rather than being used consistently. Overall, though, I enjoyed the level. No super arm blocks. No super arm blocks. This stage used one specific gimmick really well, and it really rode with that theme for, well, most of the stage. See, the biggest problem I have with this stage is that it has a few gimmicks and enemies that are introduced for a few screens, then either the stage ends or they're just totally forgotten about. And the puzzle screens with the junk blocks and wall blasters to be fun and a good excuse to use reflect blocks. And they don't take so long as to bore the player on second playthroughs. Overall, the stage is fun, but kind of a short, and it didn't really feel like the earlier screens. It's flash when platformers went together well in the end at all. It felt like a small part of a different stage, for lack of a better explanation. Uh, Flooded Temple? Indie game? And the oh, there's that glitch again! I like the background, holy shit. This is a really pretty stage for a 24 hour contest. Like it's all like custom assets it looks like, or at least 
feels like that. Oh, uh, yeah, that still feels wrong. The frame rate is still messing with me. You were the streamer I watched the most. I'm sorry. I, I ruined your ratings because it's like, what is your number one most watched video game? The retro category. Every, everyone who watches me and I was in their top four, I, I ruined uh, their faves. Yo, Boggle, what's up? Good to see you. Is this a Cryon Quest reference? You know, I've never played that game. I should. I could probably beat it real easy. Ooh, this is a fun bike segment. Okay, never mind. That was a terrible bike segment. It ended way before it started. Whoa! I like this. That's kind of neat. Does Mega Man spawn inside the ground? That's that's a good question, Mega Man. Oh wow, using the platforms to actually go down? That's a pretty good use, all things considered. Holy shit, actually impressed. <laughs> ah, yeah, I've never played the Cryon Quest, so if it is, it is. Uh, I feel like there should have been a checkpoint at some point. Where is the checkpoint? I feel like uh, that's a 24-hour problem they didn't think about, especially because Ace, uh, he made two levels. Thank you again, though, to everyone who has me in the top 24. Top 24, yes. The top four. Uh, it does mean a lot to me. Especially after the dumpster fire of a stream we did the other day, which I will never stop laughing about. By the way, Zoc, um, the last movie of the night was Lion and the King. That was the one with, what about my diamonds? My diamonds! So, uh, we did, we did get to see that. Surprisingly, that stream didn't get a strike, and it was not surprising at all. There were two separate 24-hour periods. Gotcha, gotcha. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, last minute Sunday plans had to change. So, uh, instead of the original plan, uh, we, we watched Phoenix Games or Dingo Pictures movies, like Animal Soccer World, or, uh, Lion and the King, or, uh, what were some other stupid things we watched? Uh, Dalmatians 2, 3, and 4? Her Hercules! That one was not Dingo Pictures. I, I sat on my ass and played Pokemon while well, well, uh, I, I didn't do anything. That wasn't even on the stream, we just- I, I did that on the side and told people I was playing Pokemon. Why is this guy shrunken down? Did he redraw the sprite? I like it. Actually, kind of works. He's getting faster, too. Lion and the King was your most second viewed game. Oh. Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys, another classic. Yeah, uh, so for, if you missed the stream, while, while there was a stream of literally nothing happening, uh, I, I, I found three shinies in, in Violet. Can you imagine luck? Three shinies. Not even, like, shiny hunting. Just walking around during the stream looking for items I missed. Was it a four? Nope, it was three. I checked. I thought it was four. Remember to sub to me only when he plays all the dingo pictures again. Well, lucky for you. Fuck. That was clever. I, I should have seen that coming. It's called Octoboss. Okay. Lucky for you, uh, we will never be playing Dingo Pictures again, so you could just never sub to me again, that's fine. But please do, I need the money. But don't actually. D do it because you want to do it. It does really greatly help me out, uh, it helps keep the lights on. And we, have, we have fun around here. I, 
I, I really do stream though because like I, I love the people. It's it's always a pleasure to meet the different people what you find during streaming. It, it is fantastic. I, I love streaming. I fucking hate shield attackers though. Yeah, I, I think what kind of sucked for me... Ah, oh god. Damn it. Alright, he's gonna keep using that gimmick. I, I realize there's a big problem with this channel, and I gotta figure out how to do with the, with the Twitch recap. Uh, none of my emotes. We're, we're in the top emotes for this channel, and I was like, oh, well that sucks. Hmm. Um, I don't remember, but it was, it was definitely none of my emotes. So I was like, oh, I gotta get people to use the emotes. And I gotta, I gotta get those animated and some other stuff. Uh, that, that, that did kind of hurt to see. I'm not saying use the emotes. I'm saying like, like immediately use the emotes right now. But I was like, oh, that sucks. Yeah, lon lonely spamming. Uh, those were in the top uh, five. So you're, you're banned from using those from now on. I'm sorry. Yeah, but that meant that there was so much suavemente that it just kept happening. No, I don't actually give a fuck what emotes you do, I want to make that very clear, because I know people who are like... Uh... I'm banning other people's emotes in my chat, and I hate that. Can't ban the pig. I mean, I could try. I keep forgetting every time. But I, I guess that's one of the goals I gotta do, is get people to use the emotes for, for 2023, because I, I do want people to use the emotes. They are there. Uh, I guess, you know what, I'll, I'll ask you guys this right now. Is there anything you would want an emote of that would fit this channel? Did anyone else get the recap a of modding a channel they weren't in? Yes, um, I didn't get that, but I heard a lot of people did. I'm wait I've been waiting uh, since Animated Emotes officially came out for partners for uh, Dalton to finish those. Uh, I think he's finally going to start working on those soon. So uh, we do have some of those in mind. Are there lives? No! Lives are a terribly dated concept that do not need to exist in video games. This level is hard, but it's mostly because I keep falling for the spike trap. You need a Mega Man related emote. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. I don't really want a game specific emote. Maybe, maybe an emote of Mega Man doing something I would consider, but. I'm kind of against just an emote for one game. Yeah, any, any one game emotes, I, I'm, ill. But the year's not over, I have, I have time to think. I wouldn't mind a lot of these jumps if the checkpointing was just better. Fun fact emote? Would you guys want a fun fact emote? That could be a good idea. Just says fun fact. I do, I do like knowledge in history. That, that could be a fun one. Fun fact, uh, Lonely is a really good artist and you should commission her. Did you also know that she has an NSFW account that she doesn't like advertising that you could also commission her for? Yeah, 
Yeah, if you, I think I think a fun fact demo could work. Oh, I can tell that to Did You Know Gaming. Oh, they'll love it. They'll fucking love it. Daz is gonna come in here and he's gonna be like, Mate, that's fucking top shit. That's what he'll say. I, I am talking about the real Did You Know Gaming. I, I have been on a Did You Know Gaming episode in the past. Daz, please get me for a full episode. Please, it's been my dream. What other Digital Gaming? Okay, well here's the problem with that when I say that. Um, Digital Gaming has a Twitch account, but they're not partnered because uh, Twitch won't partner them. So, that sucks a lot. And they will just not do it even though they have a partner YouTube channel. That's supposed to be the, the, the guideline. I want to be on Digital Gaming. Yeah, I, I was surprised when they invited me. I was like, fuck yeah. I love Digital Gaming, it's great. They're, they're in some hot water right now, unfortunately, because of uh, Nintendo taking down one of their videos on... which was, like, pure journalism, which sucks. How you doing, Slappy? Yeah, I, I could make a fun fact uh, happen. I think I think that would be a cool one. Everyone can start using it every time they come into my chat and go, Hey, did you know this thing? And I'll be like, I already did, bitch. I don't know them with fan games, but like, it's, it, most often anyone comes into my chat, they're all like, Ah, here's this cool fun fact. I'm like, no, I, I already know it. It's, uh, I know, it's me. Wait, what are you weak to? Bike? Oh, what is that sound? That's so loud! I know that's an engine thing with, uh, Centaur Man, and he he was apparently in the last game. Oh, that's so loud. I've been meaning to redo some emotes too, and maybe remove some and change some out. I don't even have all the bit emotes filled, so... I will... Maybe what I could do is make an emote suggestion, uh, survey, and you guys can suggest some stuff. The Sonic Blast Attack. From Sonic Blast Man. Uh, there we go. Levels technically designed really well, going against box items, uh, slightly with the Coltons really a ton to this level. The wave bike sections were fun and well scaled, and the tornado batteries were used exceptionally well. For how annoying they could be, also the shield attacker spawners were great. Turning right with the stage is the section after the second checkpoint. I just found it to be so unforgiving and kind of aggravating. Starting with the wave streams at the start of the section is fine. The first time, okay, the second time, and just plain annoying after that. Having to redo such a slow speed section several times, trying to get to the area, that's a real challenge. Then making a stupid mistake got tiring. I mistook the background. I like how there's so many mistakes. They made they made a three owed mistook. Background pillar right before the final wave bike section, causing me to panic and undershoot my jump just really bothered me. I finally got there. A few minor changes, changes, ch 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 changes would go a long way. But it's far from being a bad level. Also, fun fact: if your finger slips and you hold the wrong direction when getting off a wave bike, it kills you. Oh neat! It was in Mag Mammal too, but no one used him. That I actually did know. I looked that up on the wiki. I went to the wiki and was like, oh, let's let's check out some stuff because. Uh, for the YouTube, I was copying the level names so anyone could find them through the searches, and I was like, Oh, hey, it says uh, Centaur Man was in two. Nobody used him. Because Centaur Man was a butt. I hate him. I'd like to preface this by saying that this level adhered very well to its theme of being a flooded temple. It certainly felt like one, and the graphics and music were spectacular. Even if the background scrolls a little too distractingly fast. I'd like to mention this level is probably the best way one could use Tornado Man batteries. It's almost not furiating to play. In addition, the wave bike segments were great. There were a lot of them, and I liked how they combined platforming and shooting. They were certainly better than in Wave Man's stage. Now, there are two major problems I have with the level that, in fact, dragged the, down how much fun I had. First is the use of shield attackers overall throughout the level. The shield attackers were used rather poorly. The introduction of them was unexpected and sudden, and so were many other times through the level. 
There was no indication they would be there. But when walking to the ground, there is almost no time to jump over them without getting hit. This is all not to say there were parts that were used well, though. I liked the rooms where they were infinitely spawning. And you had to move quick. They were a good challenge, and they were used well. The other major problem I have with this level is the checkpoint placement with a gimmick like the Tornado Man batteries. There's really, there really should be more checkpoints than there were. If you are going to have big stretches over spikes like that, there should be more checkpoints. I agree, that was my biggest complaint with this level. Where were the checkpoints? So you don't have to go all the way back and do those all over again if you die past those. So why did Ace do two levels, uh, Snow Run? Was, was this like uh, someone dropped out so they just did a second level or they just wanted to do a second level? These were problems dragged down. Uh, they dragged down the fun of the level for me. But everything else about the level was great. Yeah, no, absolutely. It was a great level. It would just needed checkpoints is really how I feel. No super arm blocks. Generate up to three boxes and you could make a level for each. Okay. That makes sense. Maybe it's for the better uh, in some ways that this is a short, sweet project. This stage was gorgeous if the inside tiles didn't really look too much like something from Mega Man, though. There were some screens where it made collision confusing to decipher, mainly the gas leak room. After the checkpoint, there were some amazing small touches here, like a visual effect coming from enemy spawners and such that helped with playability a ton, where there were a couple other levels where spawners felt poorly telegraphed, often leading to getting smashed in the face by an enemy that just kind of showed up. Wave bike sections were fun enough, never getting annoying, like in Mega Man 5 or other places. Yeah, those are really good sections. Even the Tornado Man batteries don't overstay the welcome. There are definitely some minor issues here. Deflect blocks where there really didn't need to be any. Mainly with the Colton after the first wave bike section where making him killable really wouldn't hurt the level design at all. For the most part, the weapons were fun to use, often having enemies. Place for water wave chill spike coming in handy for surprisingly tricky Coltons. And time still really putting in work with the gas sprayers. Still shame on you for the super arm blocks. No super arm blocks. This was changed to get three boxes, but I had to pick. I don't know why that keeps happening. Ace knocking it out of the park again, though, with the design. Like I said, hire me. I'll break your games. Please. I have never seen this before. I, I guarantee you it's probably a Windows 11 issue. No skill issues here, just Windows 11 issues. Oh, that's clever. I like that, I like these platforms a lot. Almost didn't see those spikes, my eyes are not drawn to that. Ooh, man, these, these platforms, I like it. Okay, those eventually stop sucking you, and that's not clear where that is. Yeah, the way the pipes tell you where to go, like like how far up and down it can go, great. This is a GM 8.1 game. Ah. But like I said, uh, hire me. I will break your games. I will bug test them, please. We'll find all the worst bugs. It'll happen in the next level, I guarantee it. Yeah, this is a really good stage. Why was this not rated higher? 
Especially using the uh, the platforms with the magnets, the, the arrow? What the fuck? Ooh. Using this in an auto-scroller, interesting. Whoops. It is third, so there's not much room for it to be higher, I suppose. I think I, I like this better than the previous level, though. But, you know, personal, personal opinion. Next level contest be like, why is this level ranked so low? Yeah. Can you believe it? This level sucks. How did how did this level get ranked so low? What were these judges even thinking? Were they on drugs? Disgusting. I don't know if I could play another Magmammal after this. I, I might be burned out of Magmammal. Absolutely the worst Magmammal I've, I've ever got to play. Terrible game. Me, like, literally an hour later. Alright guys, let's play another Magmammal. Alright, we should kill him. Well, you say fascinating just reminds me of that. Yet you live in a society. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Love that meme. Oh, that's that's it? No no boss fight? Oh. That explains everything. No boss fight? I can't do this. Give me a moment. Had to take a little sippy. What a great level. This level really understood how to use its box gimmicks and how it enhanced them by using either gimmicks. Especially the vertical section with the conveyor. I love that. The whole level sounds great. Feels great. And I never had any real issue with that functionality. I Yeah, I assume the judge levels are the Dwiley levels, so there's probably three of them. The level's a bit punishing, but it's a good concise level and a shining example of how to use the box is objects a box is objects really well this level kind of dragged the checkpoints were planned too far uh, placed too far apart for the amount of spikes that were here didn't have that problem with this one I thought the other one was way worse the auto scroller section was really good as was the vertical drop section but the rest of the level was kind of there to be honest there wasn't much interesting or fun to play about the level unfortunately there were a few spots I'd consider unfair such as the magnet an X platform near the beginning over spikes where there is no room for error at all. And another problem I have with that bit is that I wasn't really sure where the magnet would stop pulling. What? Um, oh, no, no, I know where that is. Okay, never mind. Yeah, no, I agree. So I was really stressed about when to stop holding left. Another issue I have with this level is how busy the background is. It often is really detailed, more so than the foreground. And so the player can miss what they can jump on relatively easily. All in all, this level is just decent. Yeah, this was basically a, um, a grab bag, I guess. I don't know if they planned the levels where, like, you had to pick the, uh... You had to pick what the thing was you wanted, or, and you knew what it was, or if it was a mystery, the things you had to use and incorporate, but I kind of like that for such a small contest. I think it works. They're random. Okay, three enemies and two gimmicks. That's a really good way to do a small contest, if you ever do one again. Level had some really good use of the Mr. X platforms. Ah, Mr. X from Resident Evil. None of the puzzles ever felt like they took too long and they were all creative. However, in the beginning of the auto screen, it's very easy to get killed by sliding under the first X platform and having the screen scroll too far to stand on it so you can move the other. I didn't even consider that. There is kind of a similar problem with the earlier screen with the fire shooter and the purple X platform where you can blind drop in spikes. However, the way the level is designed encourages you, and en encourages you, the player to stay on the platform so it's less of an issue. 
Checkpoint placement is kind of unforgiving due to the focus on instant death obstacles. The spring enemies are not used too well, which is kind of annoying and not too interesting. The weapons, aside from super arm, smiley face, I mean, uh, frowny face, were, were useful. That is always nice. Also, the color choices on the tiles are interesting. No problem with that. Comments only list two. Oof. There we go. Fort! Can't wait to die in the fort immediately. Yeah, did you ever do a short contest? It's three in 48 hours. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What did you do in 48 hours? Crashman. Okay, so that enemy at the start tells me everything I need to know. Tells me about the gimmick. Whoa! Super arm blocks! I could tell who made this level! I mean, I knew it was Crashman, but like... He just kept complaining about the nobody using the super arm blocks. It was actually publicized? Gotcha. I figured as much. I'm more interested in a 48 hour concept uh, anyway. Because there's only so much you could do in a 24 hour contest and I think it works better to do a 24 hour contest in a group that knows what they're doing like this. Because I feel like a lot of the levels if you did like 100 entries for a 24 hour contest might be a little rough if that makes sense. Oh I like that guy right there. We'll, we'll get to 48 when we get to 48. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do 48 this year. I might wait till the start of next year. Might be one of the first things we do. But uh, my goal is we're gonna try and get through 24 and episode zero. Good enough. You're allowed to say the 48 hour story is very good and you didn't write it. Oh, okay. I like the story of uh, the other ones, they're good, they're simple, but they work for a Mega Man game. Look at that pro, uh, time bomb. Manip. That screen's a little rough on the eyes with the, uh, the bars. No, I, I, I really liked, uh... I really liked what was there for Mega Mammal 2. My favorite Mag Mammal thing will probably, for a bit, be... Oh shit. I pressed the button at the wrong time. Will probably be that point where Airman just goes, I lied. Still probably one of my favorites. That and the dabbing Airman. The reason why I would like a dab though. Oh yeah, Snort, you wanna hear the story of the dab emote on this channel? It's quite a good one. There, there's actually a story to it. Uh, my girlfriend was like, at one point, I, if we get this many subs, I will draw a day of emote. I didn't even want a day of emote, but she kept insisting it. And she was like, I don't want to draw it. And then she, she was like, well, why did you say it? If I was like, why did you, you say it if you don't want to draw it? I guess she's right here in the room with me. She doesn't want to say it, but like, she's typing it out. <laughs> she drew it. She had fun drawing it. And yet here we are, and 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 here we are. One of these days I'll stream that game. Maybe when Montaru drops by, possibly for Christmas, I'll, I'll like hold him hostage. I'll be like, that's it fucker, you're playing Kirby with me. And he's gonna be like, why? What? what is, what's the point of this room? What? Ooh, custom boss. I was not expecting custom bosses for this. Whoa! That's such a cool concept! I see what you want me to do already! Okay, I like that. The bombs are not there to explode, they're there to be platforms. 
What a good idea for a boss. And yet it's in this, sadly, over like any other Magmammal. This is Giga Count. Easy game, easy life. Cool boss, though. Probably one of my favorite concepts I've ever seen for a Wily Ford boss. Really like that. All these bosses were made by Ace in the 24-hour period. Were they were made each in 24 hours, or like, all three of them in 24 hours? Because either way, that's still impressive. Ace knocking it out of the park with the bosses. I, I really wish Ace could stop by for one of these. Just to be like, huge congrats, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I have decided we're gonna do the Christmas games that Ace made, because obviously I've never played them. Uh, but we're, we're gonna do those for uh, Christmas, because it, it may shock you to know this, but I do not celebrate Christmas. Gasp, I know, shocking. So, I didn't know what to do for Christmas this year. Uh, every year I do a Christmas stream because, like, I, I have nothing else to do. It's eat Chinese food, that's it. So, hey, uh, guess what we're doing? We're gonna play those! Hooray! Well, this is awkward. Okay, so the plan is we're gonna go through all three of those. I can't wait for everyone to get very angry at me playing them, and he's like, he doesn't even know what a Christmas Carol is. He doesn't know any of these things. He doesn't know about the past, the present, or the future. I know. Shocking. Future's that one guy from Mag Mammal. That's all I know. That's all I know about Christmas. Ace rolling in, in like, their bed that day. He's gonna be like, I, I cannot believe this. You'd be surprised how many people do not realize that. Almost every time, I, it is really funny because I'm just like, they're like, are you actually Jewish? And I'm like, you got me. I'm, I'm, I'm the Islamer. Yeah, that's cor correct. I'm, I'm actually... You got me. You fucking got me. I got got. It sucks, but I, I got got. So yes, local man does not know what a Christmas is. Those enemies are kind of worthless. Exposed? I can't believe you would do this. Ooh, very pretty enemy. Kind of moves the same way as the other boss. It's Cracko, but Mega Manified. All right, I'm doing this boss fight wrong. Yeah, I don't think Cloud Devil's the right name for this. Hi, Tree. A Shockwave. There. Anyone else just getting here? Uh, I was just saying how uh, Christmas, we're going to be playing uh, the Christmas uh, Carol Mega Man games. And we might also do some other stuff. I have some Christmas Garbo ready if, if I manage to get through the games really fast. Okay, I gotta be honest, uh, actual complaint about this level. It's an in-engine thing, but it's bothering me. I can't slide over these. I keep running into that issue.
See? Whoa, what the fuck happened there? Pop. You were my top streamer this year. Congrats on retro being your favorite category, even though nobody's favorite category here is retro. It's just what I stream under. It's easier. An Odinist? Hell yeah. Go for it. Nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. You could be, you could be the new line. What? Um. Oh my God! You're making me. You. That, that's the wrong weapon. You're making me use the super arm, Nani. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck off, super arm. People wonder why I never use these. Oh, you could super arm these. A uh, super arm would have been so much cooler if you could do this. Super arming the actual game is is really cool. I still hate the super arm. Uh, we might do Merry Gear Solid this year. You're feeling you're moving your category tonight to retro, but I feel dirty. Uh, what are you streaming tonight, Slappy? I, honestly, as long as it fits the category, I, I say stream whatever. I, I just do it because it, retro is better for discoverability. It's like I always say, nobody's looking for a scurry bingus. And the crunchy fingus. Edna and Harvey? Not. I don't think there's any shame in that. I think I've heard that one before. I love uh, point and clicks. You don't hear me uh, play too many of them, but I do love the occasional point and click. Final boss! Shields? Oh my god, you actually want me to use a weapon here? What? He does! Whoa, weird. Alright, you know what? Uh, okay, I was about to jump into the spikes, but that works too. Your dancing streams have tried the music category, the fitness category, and now started trying just chatting. It's so hard to just guess what people are looking for. It is. No, discoverability is super hard. Honestly, whatever you feel like you're the most confident with, Slappy, highly recommend you go with that one. Whatever whatever you think is going to be the best fit. People are excited for whatever in retro, though. Not that I'd say retro dancing, but, like, I've done retro dancing, technically speaking. I've done, uh... I've done the Kinect Star Wars. Hi, doggo! Depending on your age, it could be retro dancing. It could be dirty dancing too, depending on your age. Okay, you don't care about that. Um, chill Spike was actually the weakness for this, though, in the actual game. Whoa, fuck. I, for I keep forgetting this is a thing. You brought the Jizz Band. Oh, that's my... Yeah, that's my favorite part of Star Wars is, is the Jizz. The Jizz Whalers. Doggo, how have you been? It's always a pleasure to see Doggo. Despite what Shrum may say. You got the same ad? What the fuck?
Hmm. That's fine. That works. I'm just gonna have to learn the fight. Forcing me to use weapons, though. What is this? Mega Man 1, 2, or 3? I think 4 forces you to use the weapons as well. I can't believe this. This game is literally unplayable. You're making me have fun? What, what kind of game is this? Do you guys think you could just make a game fun like this? I kind of hate this boss. It's cool, but like, it is is a little bit awkward. There we go. That's the sweet spot. Ooh. It's unrelenting assault. Wily on the Akira bike? Oh, no, 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 that's, uh, it's Nitro Man's bike. Maybe it is the Akira bike? I never thought of it like that. Who here has never seen Akira? Because you really should go watch that. You're, you're missing out. What an incredible movie. You haven't? Oh, dude, it's one of the best movies out there. Not even just like Japanese movies, just one of the best movies. You can finally learn about Tetsuo Kaneda, Tetsuo Kaneda. Tetsuo! Kaneda! Tetsuo! What the? Super arm boss. What the fuck? Were all of these just what use the weakness? Because if they were, I, I, yeah, they were. Fuck, they were. They were. They all were. I'm fucking stupid. Time slow is actually his weakness too. That's fucking hilarious. Oh. Fuck. I mean, it's a clever boss. It's still. I, I kind of wish there was more health. The one health left. I Oh, wrong weapon. I, I just wish there was more health. You should have got health after each phase. That's my opinion on this fight. A good fight, just the lack of health is concerning. Almost like a rhythm game, this part. Where's my health? They didn't give me health that time! Scammed. I got scammed! Where'd my health go? Bruh. Eat us, delete us.
You ate it. Give it back. Bomb it. Right now. Okay, don't actually bomb it, but please, give it back. Again, I, I like the boss, I, I just wish there was health. Reasonable complaint? Fuck you, Wily! Oh, fuck. This is unfortunate. This looks like it's getting easier. I mean, all things considered, like I said, just, I just need a big health thing after each part. I think that would have been a great fight. So this is an alright fight, but it's 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 good, it's just the health is really concerning. Time stop. And that was it! We beat it in less than 24 hours, which means I get to keep my house. Uh, that was the stipulation. Great. I liked it. Really good. Y'all did good jobs. Good jorbs. I said you did a great jorb! This was a lot of fun. Uh, I will split this up for YouTube, but uh, here you are. This this is all the stuff. You can see all the stuff here. No proof it was less than 24 hours. Ah, you can check the stream up time. There's a timer. Oil Man original track. Yeah, that was mentioned earlier. Who knows if that's accurate? Shut up. <laughs> of course it is. It's okay, Dimwood. Defend the president from super secret service. That's okay. That's what it was. Oh no, he's gonna blast President Lincoln. <laughs> I knew you'd save yourself for Mr. Lincoln. When when does Magman will get to do that? Beat it in 24 hours, and I do it in 24 minutes. Oh, I would love to, but, but uh, we have other games to play. Yo, Neef. You really did clear this thing fast. Hey, I told you I would. You're just in time for episode zero. Because I knew there would be zero chance that this wouldn't be done in, like, an hour and a half. Graphics for Mega Man 69. Nice. Can we get some nice in the chat? Theater record is in fact under 24 minutes. Maybe that's another thing I can get a nice emote. A nice emote. Yeah, for, for when you when you see a 69. Nice. Nice. Honestly, um, I kind of feel like the Wily Castle was the best part. But the levels uh, that were in the contest themselves were actually really good. I liked all of them. Except for the really short one. That one was rough. But again, 24 hours, it's whatever. Ernest Evans! Ugh. Oh man, Ernest Evans. Rough game. Whoa, Snorunt, you worked on this? No way. Who could have guessed?
Beta testers. I'm telling you, you gotta put my name on there. It's, I keep finding bugs. <laughs> I can't wait to find the most upsetting bugs for you in episode zero. All right, well, uh, secret instructions. What the fuck? Please shoot, press shoot in the pause to access alternate weapon sets. Okay. Just go here, it doesn't matter. I just wanna see what the weapons are. Did you always do this? Hornet? Oh, it's it's the weapons from two. Flash stopper. Slash claw. Wheel cutter. Suskugarne. Match blast. Skeletup and Pak jo What the fuck is this? What What the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? What, what am I looking at? Your idea for a Mega Man weapon. 10 out of 10 weapon. I couldn't have made a better weapon. This is Match Blast, alright. Yeah, this is exactly what I remember doing. Alright, well. That happened. Uh, I'm not even gonna go to Intermission. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly... Boop. Oh, I, I actually cannot quit. Oh, well, it's not letting me leave the game, so, uh... Do the task manager.